Now, these numbers make a couple of things quite clear. One, Harris has found some momentum, some new momentum. Apparently, last minute undecided voters are picking her. And two, Donald Trump is also consolidating. Harris may hold the edge among early voters, but on Tuesday, it's all about in-person voting. And that remains Donald Trump's core. Which brings us to the campaigns. Both Harris and Trump are hitting the swing states. Harris spent a lot of time in Michigan. Meanwhile, Trump spoke in North Carolina and Georgia. As I said, this is the final stretch. Most voters must have early, must have already made up their minds. So it's all about the finishing touches now. Kamala Harris focused on the Muslim vote. Michigan is home to around 200,000 Arab Americans. They put Joe Biden over the line in 2020. They helped him win. But this time, it's not a guarantee. Arab Americans are angry about Biden's support to Israel in the Gaza war. And Harris may have to pay the price for it. She tried to do some damage control on Sunday. She promised to end the Gaza war if elected. I want to say this year has been difficult given the scale of death and destruction in Gaza and given the civilian casualties and displacement in Lebanon. It is devastating. And as president, I will do everything in my power to end the war in Gaza. To, to bring home the hostages and the suffering in Gaza ensure Israel is secure and ensure the Palestinian people can realize their the right to dignity, freedom, security, and self-determination. To bring home the hostages. Beyond that, she stuck to the script. She accused Donald Trump of dividing America, promised to fight hate politics, and to resolve the cost of living crisis. To bring home the hostages.